I'm Janet Ingle, the five minute read maker. Um, I'm a little even embarrassed to bring this topic to the level of five minute read maker lessons because honestly, I spent all week thinking about this and like working with it and it turned out to completely not even be a thing. But my hope, I guess, is that my thoughts on it and my thought process working through it may be of help to somebody else, if only to like save you the time and energy that I put into this. Um, so this is about English Horn Reads and it's about the wire on English Horn Reads. You know, because we've talked about this before in um, my video about clipping, I think, um, that it's really important to have the two blades of the reed be slightly different lengths, right? So that the shorter blade goes toward you and the slightly longer blade goes away from you um, so that the air gets effortlessly grabbed and funneled down into the reed so that you end up with a richer, deeper sound. These things are important. And so it's also true on English horn reeds that I make my lower blade, the blade that goes on my lower lip, um, short. Um, and I do that aligned with the crossover of the thread. Um, but I also, on an English horn reed, I also put on wire to help modify the opening. And I've always pointed that wire, the, uh, the taily end of it, away from me. Um, and I've thought it that way because it seems to me in my mind like the uh, bulk of weight of the windy part of the wire, um, if it goes away from me, then that's aligned with the upper blade and then it's a little bit stronger like I want the upper blade to be. Um, so maybe it adds a little tiny bit of strength to the upper blade. So I've always wired away from me. But here's why I've been rethinking this. Every single time I hand a read to a student or um, to a stranger <laughs> or to a colleague, um, they naturally put the read on the instrument with the wire facing down toward their lower lip, which is not the way I do it. So I always have to say, oh, no, 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 you, you need to turn it over because the lower blade's over here. Um, so it's something about that instinctive choice by every single person but me makes me think that maybe the wire should be on the bottom. Then this other thing happened. I was practicing English horn, which is also a little unlikely, but I was practicing English horn in my room and I was emoting joyfully like you do. And I banged my English horn bell into the music stand because it's a longer instrument than I'm used to. And the whole thing went and jammed itself into my mouth and I cut my upper lip on the little extra wire that's on that upper blade of the English horn. So I thought, ha ha, I will move the wire to the bottom blade. And then with the wire on the lower blade, I'll be better aligned with everyone else's instincts. And then I won't like slice my lip open the next time I bash the end of my English horn into something while playing, which is also like not a thing that usually happens, but it won't happen again. Uh, so for a couple of weeks, I've been experimenting with this. And by experimenting, I mean every time I think about it, I put the wire on the bottom blade. But most of the time, because I'm not really thinking about it, I just put the wire on the upper blade, same as usual. All of that to say, if you've gotten an English horn read from me in the last like two or three weeks, check carefully. The lower blade is always the one that goes with the crossover of the thread, but not necessarily with the alignment of the wire because sometimes I'm going both ways and I'm sorry if that's confusing. And this whole week I've been playing an English horn gig, which is also a little unlike me, and I've been using a new read that I made that does have the wire on the bottom blade, and I've been alternating with another new read I made that has the wire on the upper blade because I nearly can't keep track of this stuff. And you know what? I don't believe it makes a difference at all. I have come to the conclusion that the only reason we care about which way the wire goes is aesthetic. Um, because I frankly, I believe that even with the wire on the lower blade, if I were to bonk the bell of the English horn on something in the wrong way, I could probably still cut my lips open, um, no matter which way the wire is facing. I think that may have been an accident and a coincidence. So my message, you wire however you want.
I don't believe that this makes a difference at all. Now, I'd be wide, wide open to hearing someone who disagrees with me and thinks that it's important. I would love to hear from someone that disagrees with me, with me and thinks it's important, but um, currently that's my statement. Uh, thank you so much for watching. This has been a five minute Read Maker lesson. Uh, it is my pleasure to speak to you every week. Uh, if you have questions or comments or you'd like to order Reads or King, you can find me at JanetIngle.com. Uh, you can follow these videos here on YouTube. This is hopefully the most useless one ever and everything else will be super exciting. And you can subscribe right here if you wish. Um, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.